Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. At this point, I can safely assume you are using a stylus instead of a mouse. Isn't that right? Well, the question is, are you using a standard keyboard? Now, I'm not going to tell you that it is required to have a different sort of keyboard, but in the same way that a stylus is more appropriate for painting in Photoshop, I've found that using some specialty control surfaces, like the ones in this picture, make me a more efficient artist. I feel like there's less stuff in between me and my painting. Now, it might seem like adding all this extra hardware just adds to the complexity, but what you're looking at here is a tailor-made solution to my particular workflow. There's a couple different USB devices here that I've listed in the post description, so you can learn about them there. But the important part is that they are all based around priority. Because if you were in a new car and you want to change the radio station, probably that button would be right next to your thumb on the steering wheel. And the reason for that is it's simply safer to not remove your hands from the steering wheel. Well, the same idea applies here. I want to keep my right hand drawing, and that leaves one hand to do my keyboard shortcuts. So I thought about the buttons that I press most, the actions that I do most of the time, and I essentially reorganized a special keyboard around those. I used the spacebar, so I put that on my left thumb. And that just helps me move the canvas around. I also make the brush bigger and smaller. And that's why I got this contour shuttle, because it's all designed around a single knob. So here I can move the knob to the right, and it makes my brush bigger. And move the knob to the left, and it makes my brush smaller. I also like to zoom in and zoom out. So for that, I have my index and middle finger have two dedicated buttons. So that means that my hand does not move at all, and I'm able to do most of the things that help me paint inside of Photoshop. I have Alt on my ring finger, so I can pick colors. I can make my brush bigger and smaller, move around the document, and zoom in and out. All that, and I never move my left hand. You'll notice there's a lot more buttons on the shuttle, as well as the rest of the control surface. Well, that's because I use a lot of different commands, and I don't like to use multi-button keyboard shortcuts. So for instance, something that might have been three buttons before is now this one button right here. Now you'll notice that on the right side, I've got this funny looking thing with a big joystick. Well, that is exclusively for my 3D work. So here we've got Google SketchUp. And generally speaking, your mouse has to be both sculpting and the camera controls. So I would have to switch tools, move the camera, and then switch tools again and continue sculpting. Well, what this extra tool allows me to do is have my left hand become the camera. So here I am not moving my mouse at all, yet I'm able to rotate, zoom in, and move this camera around the scene. So that frees up my right hand for sculpting. So I can make my lines here, do some editing, and I can move the camera the entire time to get a different view of my scene. So this might not be essential, but it helps me to work more intuitively inside of SketchUp. It's more like traditional sculpting. I'm moving the object around with my left hand and then doing the sculpting itself with my right hand. So clearly my setup is not very standard. It is expensive. It also had an extremely steep learning curve. So when I sit down at a normal computer, it's a challenge for me to get used to the original keyboard shortcuts again. So I recognize those downfalls. But for me, I spend so much time digital painting that it seemed worthwhile to have something that was more ergonomic and more efficient. And what I've found over the years is that I am a much faster painter than I used to be. Now the reason for this video is not so you go out to the store and spend hundreds of dollars on custom keyboards. The point is that you might be spending a lot of time digital painting. And if you are, it's worth thinking about how you can make that experience easier and more comfortable. For some people, it's simply going to be changing your keyboard shortcuts. Dealing with a standard keyboard, but arranging the keyboard shortcuts to better fit your workflow. For me, that was a good start, but it didn't answer the whole question. So if you guys out there have an interesting custom keyboard or any sort of controller you're using, let's talk about it in the comments. This is something that I don't hear painters talking about all that much, and I think that they should consider more often. So let's hear about those interesting user interfaces. 
Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.